Hey guys, Justin here, and this is the Audio-Technica ATH M50X, supposedly the best studio monitoring headphones you can buy right now under $200. The thing is, the ATH M50Xs have been around for 3 years now, so if you're looking for a solid pair of headphones, are the M50Xs still the best bet, and are they still the budget king of headphones? No. So to kick things off, at the price of $150, you're getting a lot more than what you pay for. In fact, I've seen these for as low as $100. These headphones are built really well, and while it's made out of plastic, it's pretty robust and light on the head also. So while I'm using these, I don't feel that much of tension and clamping on my head, which is really comfortable. The M50Xs do look pretty great, and they have a nice classic look and feel to them, but if you do want to spice them up to the next level, these are D-Brand skins. I think they look pretty dope, and they protect against scratches also, so go check D-Brand out if you want pop for your headphones or any other device. I'll leave a link down below. So the cable included with the ATH M50Xs are detachable, which makes things a ton easier for replacement, but they are a proprietary cable, so if you do happen to snap or twist the cable to break it, you will have to go to Audio-Technica and get one straight from them. Now the ATH M50Xs are great for portable use, trust me, I usually just fold them up and throw them into my bag without having to worry about them. In fact, these are the headphones that I do bring everywhere whenever I listen to music on the go, edit video, or just anything in between. Alright, so I've also gotta say that these Audio-Technicas are probably one of the most comfortable pair of headphones I've ever used. You get a swivel design and the ability to extend, which allows for some really nice adjustments to any shaped head out there. Compared to a ton of other headphones out there, these ones feel really great on the head. I use these M50Xs to edit video for hours on end, and I can't come up with any major complaints. The headband has a good amount of flex, so whether you have an extremely narrow or large head, the M50Xs have you covered. Now personally, I love the ear cups. I mean, they're soft, they're perfect for noise isolation, and they seal around your ears really well. But my only gripe is that they are on the thinner side, so while using these headphones, my ears do touch the drivers, and that causes a bit of discomfort after a while of using. But of course, everybody's ears differ in size and shape, so it really just depends on your situation. But other than that, bottom line, the ATH M50Xs are comfortable, and that's something I find a key to a great listening or monitoring experience. Obviously, the most important part of any headphones out there are how they sound, and the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs don't disappoint. So of course these headphones are primarily designed for audio monitoring, and with that you get a neutral or flat sound. You can definitely notice less bass, especially if you're someone coming from a more consumer-based headphone, as there isn't any added bass, which is great for more accurate monitoring experience. The ATH M50Xs cover high frequencies really well, and simply put, you can hear much more detail in the audio, especially with the highs and mids. There isn't any overpowering bass, which gives a great balance, and I find this really useful when editing audio. You get a really clean and full sound from these headphones, and honestly, the M50Xs sound if not the best in its price range for only $150. So after 3 years, are the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs still the best budget headphones out there? For me at least, and I could say for most people, definitely. I mean, you're getting some clean rock solid sound quality at a low and affordable price, which is great as consumers can even pick these headphones up for listening also, which is something I really loved about these headphones. The M50Xs are definitely going to be hard to beat, especially for what you're paying and everything that you're getting. Anyways guys, that about does it for this video. If you made it all the way to this part of the video, go ahead to the comment section down below and use... Uh, hashtag milkbag. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and be sure to let me know in the comment section also what videos you want to see in the future. But uh, other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.